All right. Hey, how's everyone doing? I'm Dan McGee. Welcome to the garage. Um gonna do some painting tonight. It's um Thursday night. Uh had a a nice day. Uh Mike Felton from um let's see, here we go. From uh Fast Mikey Blue Eyes got in touch with me. And uh, he really liked what I did with the music and with the painting. So we're going to meet up sometime. So that's kind of exciting, huh? Um, also, um, part of the music tonight is going to be from this album here, Fast Mikey Blue Eyes, Mike Felton. And uh, this album here, Ryan Stevens Live, the We Don't Worry Band. So I'm going to mix them up and uh, should make for a nice soundtrack. But also I got, um, I put a, like a message out on all of them or most of the pages, the um, Facebook pages that I have that I was looking for um, some bands to uh, play while I'm doing my paintings. Um, I've got a lot of uh, interest in it, and <clears throat> uh, one guy sent me um, a video, YouTube video. <clears throat> His name is um, Daryl Rodney, and um, I guess he goes by Country Boy and Daddy. Anyhow. I listen to some of his stuff. Sounds really great. Sounds bluish, bluesish. So I'm not sure if he's friends with um, uh, Mike or not. But either way, I, I welcome him to um, get in touch with me further. But I'd love to uh, play some of his music too. And then there were other couple other people too. But um, I didn't get that far into it where I could give out any kind of uh, names or uh, what kind of music they play. So anyhow, let's start with the painting. But actually, one more thing. This is kind of interesting. See how I'm kind of dark, right? So the camera is right here. And it's because this is a white board, it's reflecting into the camera so the camera thinks it's way too bright so it's dimming it down so watch what happens as i as i put color on here i'm going to slowly start getting brighter but watch just when i do this ain't that crazy anyhow i just wanted to show you that as um the canvas gets full of color i'm going to get brighter not necessarily intelligently but my reflection okay so I've got um on the palette tonight I've got white crimson blues a um, couple of browns a um, couple of greens and a black so uh, let's I'm not sure what I'm painting uh, more than likely it's gonna be my favorite it's gonna be like um, mountain trees possibly water I'm not sure until I get there. But anyhow, uh, what am I going to start with now? Can you guess? I'm going to start with a mountain. I'm going to start with the bottom. I'm going to start with the sky. You win. I'm going to start with the sky. So I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to put a little... Um, little of this brownish gray in it I think I'm gonna do a winter scene but it's gonna be very cold winter so it's gonna be on the I'm gonna be on the gray side gray and white side
down. I put a little, put a little, um, a little brown with the blue. Anyhow, let's see what we got. So I'm going to start in the corners. That's normally where we start. Oh, look at that. That seal looks pretty good. Since this is going to be a um, cold winter. See, I'm just kind of doing random. I'm just doing random um, paint strokes on it. Because part of this randomness is going to end up becoming the sky. I mean, not the sky, like clouds and stuff. So I don't want to... Um, get too linear, I guess would be the word. Because when you look up in the sky, you don't really see lines. At least I don't. I'm not judging you if you do, but. All right, let's see, let's see where we're at. Ah, what do you think? Maybe we'll do a little bit. So I got my timer on, so hopefully I catch myself when the time starts getting close to a half an hour. So the camera I use to do this is not like a regular camera for like a computer. It's actually a regular um, Canon, like a photographic camera like for taking pictures but well, with the new cameras of course you can do video so unfortunately I mean you get beautiful pictures and you could do some cool stuff with it because it is a regular photography camera but the bad part about it is it's really not number one um, use for this camera is not video so it'll shut off after a half an hour because I, I think their thought behind that is that most people are not going to be using this for video so don't um, make that a priority as far as letting the camera stay on longer than a half an hour. I thought there was some kind of setting, but there's no setting, unfortunately, to do that. winter sky got some grays going in there and yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the X's and do it more circles like cloudy circles when we get to the pump
Ooh, that looks static. That looks pretty good. Starting to look got, got, got menacing clouds in there now. Or colors, anyways. A little bit more. A little darker. Alright, I think that's dark enough. Now, can you see already? Just by putting this on, look how much brighter um, my face is showing up. A while. So I'm going to take my small brush. And right. Fluffy clouds. Could be cool. Wiping the brush is when you're going. Oh, look at that. Base color off because it ends up getting on the brush. See it? Look at how white that is. See, yeah. Now watch after as I do this, the brush is going to uh, start picking up color background. See it? It's all that color came off. I'm gonna wipe that off. Otherwise, my white don't work. Loving you too hard. Well, 
Looks pretty cool, huh? Look at those light spots there. Okay, now let's take the fan brush and I can highlight those clouds a little nicer. Um, wiping the brush off.
Okay, so now I'm going to make a new brush and into the Sazerac Saloon, 1975. Looking for a dance, looking for a time. Clouds a little bit. Does it look fluffy? I'm a bartender with them sad blue eyes. They was real gone out of their mind. Baby's gone. Too bad. I'll leave it there. They took him a dance yeah. to that Mathis song. Puppy and lost. Following you. Here we go. Never stop. They do a little more fluffing. Oh, look at that. Woo. Call here the undertaker. Get the car from the hole. Nice. Go on down here, Jimmy Nichols. Play a country song. Definitely Don't looks cold. Shit, it does. storm is about to happen or it just there's out of their mind. All right, let's take a little Kind of a grayish blue. Start here. A girl walks into the Sandbox Saloon, nineteen seventy five. Looking for a dance, looking for a time. Come up with.
All right, we're working on uh, the mountain. Sa. Mountain. Sa. That's a cool that's a cool one. I'm chasing a rumor down west of Kind of Try to figure out just what that's worth. Round it off a little bit though. Chasing a rumor down west of Vision, honey. Try to figure out just what that's worth. So let's do this side, this one a little, this is an old mountain, so it's worn down. A little snow. Let's say the light's coming in this way. So this side's going to be right or side of the mountain. Let's um wait. That sky Double sober, cunning. 
Cool. How it shadowed the um, the whites and the blues and the grays. It just kind of really gives it a neat looking shadow effect. I like that a lot. And then the whites, the real white, bright white, is actually really just stands out. So a childhood friend of mine, he um, actually moved away when he was a freshman in high school. Uh, Ridgeview, and it's, uh, at the time I think it had about 13,000 people, and he moved to a town called Marengo. It's like a town out of Texas, but it actually is in Illinois, not too far from um, Rockford. But anyways, it's a nice little town, small, I can't tell you how many people were in it, but I know it wasn't uh, nowhere near 13,000. Which again, this is a small town to begin with, but we're like a suburb of Chicago. So, you know, we travel five minutes and we're in another town and we travel another five minutes, we're in another town. 
So just because our little town only had 13,000, we were still in an area that had a lot of people. So anyway, I don't forget what I was what I was talking about. But he, um, Greg, spends his summer, uh, spring, summer, and part of fall in Montana, and he oversees some type of a lodge. But he posts pictures, him and his uh, uh, partner, Peggy, they post these beautiful mountain pictures. So even though I don't live there, I love the mountains, the sight of so that's why I do a lot of mountains. That looks pretty cool. As you can see, I kind of, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just kind of roll with it. And when I get excited when stuff comes out there. Start. Might as well start here. Come down. Like it's in a valley, maybe. Valley here.
my daddy's name is Earl. We stay right up here, 2302. Got a big old heater in our front room. Sometimes we were cold. We was always cool. Did I 
Trunks. Let's see if I can put some tree trunks in there. should deal with what's going on down here.
Well, I was sitting in a hotel room in Tulsa, Oklahoma, with a girl named Cher and an overnight packet from Dallas. And in that packet was nothing urgent or important. So, I'm trying to work on a little land here to uh, make it a little more interesting. try to use any um, yellows in here I don't want it to be like fallish
What do you think? Does it look wintry? Chasing a rumor down West Division Trying to figure out just what that's worth Alright, let's uh Nickel, 
need to buy us something, put them right in his purse. I'm steady throwing back this whiskey, wondering what's gonna hit the floor. I got one card, baby, I'll last for you. I got <coughs> one card, baby, I'll ask for you. I got one card, baby, I'll ask for you, Lord, Lord, well, see that my grave is kept clean.
forget about you, the devil never calls. Stay tuned, it says not there. Man said no, 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 why? Down at home and Avenue, and I ain't told you so. I like the colors. I was thinking about doing more blues, but I like the contrast. So I'm really excited about um, these musicians are interested in letting me um, use their music in the background. It's kind of like a cross promotion, which is really a, a cool idea. So it's not boring just watching me paint. Got some nice music in the background. Put a little Christmas tree there, what do you think? Little baby one. Alright, I got my greens. A little snow on the trees. We know just who you are. 
think the way we're going to do that This, is, this stuff here is called liquid white. The trick to this, this painting hey there, is that your pistols, take a good look around. More of us than the of you, we're going to turn that head around. Layers and layers and layers. But you all are guilty when you come and down here. As you're, when you first start, you want your paint to be thick. And then as you continue at layers, you want them to get thinner. Because and paint. He was polishing his pistol with some of sweat. Right. Had the rabbit in his hand. One in the chamber with the safety hole. Night was cold like that. Cause you all are guilty when you live down here well.
see. I'm almost done, or am I just fantasizing that I'm almost done?
I should do a Santa and reindeer going across the sky. Yeah. I guess I could, but I don't. If I get better at it, maybe I will. But for now, no. So if you've seen my other paintings, I think I'm getting a little better at it. If you're watching me, you're basically watching me at homemade art school.
Don. Gonna call it done. What do you think? <clears throat> so, my hands are all full of paint, but don't forget that the music in the background is. By Brian Stevens and the We Don't Worry Band. And you can find him at, if you're interested, <clears throat> at Brian Stevens WDWBand.com. Brian Stevens WDWBand.com. And if you want to get a hold of Mike Felton, best Mikey Blue Eyes, his website is landfillrecords.com. Landfillrecords.com. So if you know anybody else that's um, into music, has um, some CDs out or ACD and they want me to um, promote it while I paint, I'd be more than happy to do it. So, that time, cheers to you. Thanks for watching. Ah, iced tea. Talk to you later. Oh, forgot. Fade to black. <laughs>